George is on his way to South East London to visit his mother, Dinah. My mum is so Irish. And I think very, you know, very proud of her Irish roots. I want to ask her some questions about her mum, because I was very close to my grandmother. But then when my grandmother was dying, I was a teenager and I was a little bit kind of full of my own self-importance. Oh, so nice, not the, no dogs yapping. Hello, Hi, Mummy. Right. Thank you. Gorgeous. <laughs> Who's your face? Gorgeous, yeah. yeah. Great. Shut it off. Yes. I'll make a cup of tea, Mum. <laughs> this is a picture out taken of you and me. That's amazing. Turn and picture. Road. I remember seeing that picture yeah. years ago. I look like a, you know those Victorian dolls. Yeah, lovely. You're I mean, I'm huge. You look gorgeous there. By you the way. were ten months old. You look like me in drag. <laughs> you were ten months old there. What's this one? This was taken in the front room. Which one's me? Look at how sweet you are. And look and at Nan. Nan looks very serious. She looks. Yeah, she does actually. She was quite scary sometimes, Nan. <laughs> Maybe she's like, well, if you cheated, she used to hide with a wet flannel and slap you in the face yeah. when you weren't looking. She was, she had some quite like yeah, crafty probably, little yeah, tactics. Yeah, you have to remember like the way she was brought up, like you know what I mean, very strict. Your mum never talked about her childhood. No, she never did. Never spoke about it. And a lot of times I asked her, and she just, you know, I've, I've nothing to say. But I've always wondered why she could talk about it. I and mean, it's funny for me because obviously um, when I was a kid I was very close to Nanny Glynn and I spent a lot of time with her. Well, I remember when she came here and she must have gone upstairs and you were singing. I still ponder, I want to know more about my mum. And I'm going to do my best to find out everything yeah. I can about your mum. I hope it's not too sad. Hmm. George has come to Ireland to try and discover more about his grandmother Bridget's early life. <laughs>